Hey kids, you wanna see something useless? Oh, it's time for Tag Back, the show where every Monday I take a look at another blaster from yore to see if, uh, to see if they're worth remembering today. And most of the time that's going to be the case, but today, that is not the case, for we are taking a look at the Busby Tech 3. The Tech 3. If you don't know what this is, man, you're in for a treat, because the Tech 3 is absolute garbage. It was garbage when it came out, and it's garbage today. For this thing is beyond worthless. You can throw darts farther than this thing can shoot them. It is horrible. It is the worst. And I know hyperbole likes to be thrown around a lot, especially on YouTube, but this is the worst thing that I own in my blaster categories. A broken Maverick with holes drilled in the plunger tube could hit better ranges than this thing. The Busby Tech 3. Now, this is what actually gave Busby a bad rap, in my opinion, because it's tiny, and you'd buy it thinking, oh my gosh, it's tiny, and it's cool, and it shoots darts, and it might actually be good. And I think the package even said, like, 25 feet, and it didn't reach anywhere near that. This is what turned me off of Busby Blasters. This is why I never owned a Panther or a Big Blast. This stupid thing. Could you imagine if I had a panther compared to this thing? The panther shooting 100 feet and then this thing not shooting 100 feet? <sighs> well, I don't have any of the uh, Busby stickies, but that's the, that's the comical point about this, is that it was meant to shoot Busby stickies, which are heavier than Nerf darts. I don't know how that's even supposed to make sense, but it's going to be really difficult to show in the, the turret here, but... Uh, there's actually no walls where these barrels touch, so air leaks like nothing. And it honestly doesn't even have the power to push out elite darts most of the time. And this is a three dart that you have to rotate with each shot. Nice little clicking mechanism. And it's got a clip back here so you can clip it to your belt to show everybody that you're non-threatening. And... I don't even think it has a full inch of draw on it. It is horrible. Let's load it up with some taggers, because taggers are kind of like stickies. Kind of. Oh, man. And these are like brand new taggers, too. I don't even think it has the power to launch them out of the barrel. That one's nope. That one's nope. Hey, it fired that one, and it fired it horribly. Let's see. That one, it didn't even leave the barrel that time. Still can't fire that. Let's try shooting it out of this. <laughs> These darts are too new, it just can't do it. Oh my gosh. The Tech 3! Yep, this is the worst blaster I owned. And trust me, it didn't work any better when we got it, you know, when it first came out. Now, I honestly didn't buy this. I had nothing to do with it. My friend PJ is the one who bought this. He used to carry it around with him because he always wanted to have a dart shooter. And he brought it to, to college once and uh, shot me with it. And I thought it was funny because I... Uh, I got my Jolt, which outranged this thing like three times over and was physically the same size, if not a little bit smaller. It's about the same size. No, it's a little bit smaller, actually. Yeah, uh, the Jolt was better than this, and he didn't know the Jolt was a thing, and I honestly think that's the reason why he just stopped caring about Nerf, because uh, all he owns now is, I believe, a Hailfire and a Proton, that or uh, not a Proton, a... Praxis that he keeps in the back of his car and Yeah, this thing is absolute horrible if these darts are too new. They're too tight for it to actually shoot them The tech three Let me know what kind of blasters you want to see on tag max and who knows maybe you'll see it next week and next Monday's video But until then I'll be seeing you